Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. Today I'm going to be making something that I got so many requests for after I made my cheeseburger cake. And I've been watching a lot of Bob's Burgers lately. So today I'm going to be making cheeseburger cupcakes. The things you'll need will be one yellow cake, or you can use your favorite cake recipe. It doesn't have to be box cake. Lemon cake works really well, as long as it looks like a cheeseburger bun color. So something yellow. Half a cup of vegetable oil, one cup of water, green food coloring dye, some toothpicks, three eggs, and coconut flakes. You'll also need a cupcake baking pan, and I've lined it with these little paper liners, one big mixing bowl, and I've pre-made some brownies. Just use whatever is your favorite brownie recipe. Mmm. All right, let's put it all together. Half a cup of this. Then we're gonna crack three eggs. Whew. Now you're gonna mix for three minutes on medium speed. Once your batter is all mixed, we're gonna fill these little cupcake trays. And I like to put three scoops to two scoops, depending on how full they are. You just want it two thirds full. And now is a good time to preheat your oven to 350. One, two, yeah, we're gonna do three scoops. It's okay to get messy, we've got cupcake liners. You're just gonna fill all these trays. Oh wow, this is really messy. There is probably a better way to do this. Some people put it in a little Ziploc baggie and then, but it is, it's okay. It's okay to get a little messy. <gasps> Boom, nailed it. Cupcakes look perfect. We're gonna throw these in the oven for about 20 minutes on the heat of 350. Now, while the cupcakes are baking, we're gonna be making the lettuce out of coconut flakes. They're just regular coconut flakes. We're just gonna pour them into a small bowl like this. And then we're just gonna take a little bit of green food coloring dye and put a few drops in. You can put as many as you want, however dark green you want to make it. Then I'm just going to take a little fork, mix it all together. <laughs> Ta-da! Once you've dyed all your coconut shavings green, we're just going to set this aside. And what you're going to want to do is get two plastic bags and fill them with frosting. I put red frosting in this bag and yellow frosting in this bag. And you can use a basic Ziploc, anything. And this is going to be our cheese and ketchup. Once your cupcakes are all done baking, take them out of the oven and make sure they've had plenty of time to cool before you do this, otherwise they will fall apart. So what you're gonna do is take a knife, got a sharp knife, and you're gonna cut your cupcake in half. So I'm gonna turn it on its side so you can see. And I'm gonna cut right below, I call it the muffin top, the yummiest part of the cupcake. You're just gonna cut all the way through. So this will be the top of our hamburger bun, and this will be the bottom. So I'm just gonna take the bottom half of the cupcake, put it over here, and just kind of eyeball how big the meat patty is gonna be. I'm just taking a little butter knife, and I'm just gonna cut around so I know about how big I want my meat patty to be. That's my kind of cheeseburger. Oh my god, I love brownies. Now I shall assemble my cheeseburger. This is technically my cheese. It may also look like mustard, but this is a cheeseburger. So I'm gonna pretend that this is cheese. You're just gonna put a little bit. Go all the way around. Zigzag. Perfect. Now you're gonna take your meat patty, mmm, your brownie meat patty, and I'm just squishing it like so, so it looks really meaty. Oh yeah. Now you're gonna take your ketchup. I'm gonna put a little layer here. All the way around. And now you're gonna take your coconut flakes, our lettuce, and sprinkle a little bit. Oh, coconut and chocolate, they go so good together. Now you're gonna put on the top of your hamburger. Oh, yum, look at that, meaty hamburger. All right, for the final touches, what we're gonna do is take these little toothpicks and put them all the way down, right in the center to hold our little cupcake together. Oh, these are so cute. They're like bite size. After I put these together, I thought they aren't quite done. I was thinking, what are they missing? Oh yeah, the little sesame seeds. So I went through all of my cupcake stuff and I found 
sprinkles. So I went ahead and separated some of the white sprinkles like this and now we're just gonna sprinkle those on top of the little cheeseburgers. I can have cheeseburgers. Ta-da! Here are our cheeseburger cupcakes. They're so cute and I love that they're bite-sized with the brownie in the middle. So thanks you guys for suggesting it. If you have any other ideas for any other naughty nummies, please let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to make it happen. Okay, thanks you guys. Bye-bye. Oh my god, I love brownies.